Okay. Mm uh, so we are uh, slightly further uh, <laughs> down here than, than uh, of course, I'd like to be. We're at 256. Fortunately, we won the last one. So, uh, it's looking like we're going to win this one. Um, yeah, so, I mean, while we're climbing back up, uh, it's going to be a little uh, boring, I guess, to some degree. Um, two days to go. So, here's this. Uh, this team is still working on it. Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll put ML Crowell on my defense. It's still to be sort of uh, thought about. But I really like, for one, I mean... Uh, Saren might be good, or, or um, maybe like a, a Riolu would be good to get for defense, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, also, I mean, maybe like a decent uh, Falconer Clurry might be pretty good on uh, on defense. I don't know why I keep opening that, but uh, anyway, let's. Um, I mean, not only on defense, also on offense, it'd be useful to have one. Uh, one of my guildmates. Uh, every time it's brought up, it's always going, it's always always mentioning uh, the fact that you can soul burn into effect resist. Uh, you can soul burn to ignore effect resistance, which um, I don't want to understate how valuable that is. It it, it really is uh, a huge deal. Uh, let's go with. Hmm, I think uh, does D, does uh, does he cleanse? I think he cleanses. Mm, I think I'm just gonna go with uh, with CC here though. Anyway, just for the Aureus. Uh, and obviously, I don't want that up there. No, actually, oh man, I can't run CC there because of that. I guess I can maybe. Yeah, we can try that. And see how that goes. Um. Let's go see what my Dizzy's running. Uh, equipped. Where are you, Dizzy? Actually, it, uh, let's see. Yeah, so Dizzy looks fine. Um, if not Dizzy, maybe running uh, G-Perg up here wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm actually starting to think maybe G-Perg would be good. Oh, that's like a level 50 Broman too, so that's kind of interesting. Go well, something like that. Why not? Um, I think we should do fine. Uh, up here, we want something like. Oh uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna go with. Uh, where are you? This up here, maybe. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, one of the things that I, like I, I begin to I've begun to like value Momo a lot more during these things because for one, I mean she has the cleanse obviously, uh, but two, she also has like you can dictate your healing right. So if you're using something like a DJ Basar, if you're using something like a DJ Basar, um, you, you can't not heal right. So you S three. And after that, you're locked into having to heal every single turn with um, with the S1. So it's something to consider. Um, yeah, like something. And she S3'd. Uh, she S3'd her, so that's not good. It's actually kind of weird. Uh, let's S3 you. So we have to leave this can alone for a while. That's fine. Okay, so fortunately SSB is back at uh, full HP. Oh no. Well, close anyway. So everybody's bullying SSB right now for some reason. Which I find kind of interesting, um, but that's alright. Uh, I didn't get that. Uh, now I can't, like, you basically you can't S3 anymore. Come on, please hail SSB more. There we go. Okay, so now they're focusing on uh, Kraut, which is good. Uh, 
Okay, very good, very good. Uh, granted, he is uh, he is uh, taunt locked here, but that's all right. Um. Kral can S3 now, and I want him to S3 him. Okay, there we go. That, that was perfect. Um, this is actually kind of tricky. Let's just do it. Why not? Uh, so we encountered here. Uh, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Ah, come on. Please, I need her to heal. Nope, he's gonna kill. He's gonna kill her. Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, this was supposed to be free too. It is what it is, I guess. Of course, the dual attack. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just kill you and get you out of the way. Uh, damn. Yeah, that was supposed to be that was supposed to be easy, but um. Yeah, <sighs> such a shame. Now I have to deal with this crow, and I can't outspeed him too because he's too fast. And then we've got her uh, dealing. A whole lot of damage now. Yeah, he's about to die. And I think he's dead there. Uh, yeah, so let's just get out of here. Uh, so that was kind of annoying. Um, dual attacks and just general bad luck didn't, you know, luck didn't go our way there. So that's pretty uh, irritating. So we got the counter, which is excellent. And we got this counter, which is even more excellent. Um, so let's just hit her because she's free right now. Uh, very cool. And yeah, so that's kind of interesting because like regardless of whoever uh, she pairs up with now, um, you know, we're, we're basically solid. It's done. Okay. So she's on Abyssal right now. Uh, normally I kind of really want her on the, um, the, what's it called? The Ayelas, but uh, right now Serato has it and uh, the other one's not limit broken at all, so that's kind of what that's about. Um, but pairing them together is a pretty good combo, just because uh, I hate when that happens. Pairing them is a pretty good combo right now because, um, you know, he has the Ayelas, so he'll strip and then, you know, she can do her thing later. Um, but yeah, like in general, like. When you know you have strips and you're gonna run with strips like you know like that, it's all right, right? Um, you can run her like this, but it's one of those things where you're, let's see, let's kill you because you have defense break. Um, it's one of those things where it's, where it's good. Uh, if you're using her like standalone, like oh I just kind of picked her and I don't have a lot of preparation to go with her, I really do think that uh, you want to go with Ayala's because like all of her abilities do something, but if they, if they, if they're not stripped, then they won't do anything at all. Um, let's see, let's, um, uh, I keep forgetting, so it doesn't affect him as much. Well, he has a passive that, that uh, makes it so you can't really push him back too much. Um, but as you can see here, we're still doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, and then we'll, we'll just hit you with this. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that first round was kind of dumb, kind of irritating. Um, Crow tends to be a huge irritation on uh, defense just because you don't want to lose a unit to him. But I think maybe in that case going with like a Ruel would have been better. So if like when I did end up us losing him, um, it wasn't too big a deal. Uh, let us go with... Uh, I want to go Ox slots up here. Is that a good idea? Probably not, but uh, I still kind of want to. Down here, let's go with... Um, That strip is pretty annoying. Um, well, let's go get that ox slots. I don't know where. 
I, I really should six star him just because like it does cut it does get kind of irritating like oh where is he I gotta, go, I gotta go pull him out from over there again uh, and then lastly we're gonna bring in Eufine Eufine has some good uh, good gear but like um, I don't use her that often so, so I'll just forget about her uh, actually maybe Actually, yeah, maybe I should bring, uh, where are you, a little bit here. Okay, this one should be a little easier. <laughs> Hopefully, right? Uh, famous last words. Um, down here, I'm still kind of, like, trying to figure out what to do. I guess maybe that with the um, where is Momo? She's down here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with uh, with the crow here. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Um, problematically, his AOE could really do some damage to her, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, he's got he's got single target on the S1, so hopefully by that time I can proc his passive and then have him uh, AOE once again okay so let's do this uh, let's I'm not gonna soul burn it just because um, yeah we don't really need it right so okay so that was more than enough and of course I got the counter and then we get the second counter <sighs> that's all right man um yeah it's not that Um, let's do that. Of course, I got the counter again, so there's that. And then the second counter. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, Charles doing Charles things. Uh, so yeah, that, you know, as always, it's kind of irritating um, fighting against Charles just because things like this happen a lot. Um, we'll revive, we'll just burn this S3 just to get it up. Uh, uh, on cooldown on rotation as soon as possible um, one thing I, I do want to consider now or think about is uh, putting my Ruel on a uh, defense thing instead it's putting yeah putting Ruel on a defense um, of course she gets the counter so she's dead uh, so this this Charles is oddly like overgeared because look at how much damage that was. That was an insane amount of damage. That was not um, what that's not 250 levels of damage. Like I have a, a level 250. Um, yeah. Okay. So we lost because RNG here, which is fine. Um, yeah. Uh, but that that aren't that uh, that Charles damage is is is. Nothing uh, that's common down here uh, for for this for this level. Because um, my Charles, like he has 17k HP, which is already you know for one, it's already insane having that much HP. Uh, okay. Uh, of course, and then on top, which you know, on top of the damage he's also doing to uh, to like. I have to heal her. There's not much else I can do here. Um, but yeah, like that damage is not, um, <laughs> it's not normal, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, let's put you, let's bring you in. I think I can just kill the uh, the Charles now with her, hopefully. But uh, I don't think it's her turn, so that's kind of, that's gonna be a problem. Of course, so that was enough to take off that whole barrier and then do some damage on top. Okay, so if we get countered here, I think she's dead. Okay, so we didn't get countered, so we're fine. Let's see if I can just kill him. Okay, finally. Okay, so we, we're, we're kind of like pulling our asses out of the fire here.
Uh, I really need to... What does this do? And it would be buffed. Bleeding. Oh, I thought one of these debuffed. I thought that's kind of funny. Uh, okay, let's just hit him with this, I guess. Okay. So actually, I think we're just going to lose here, though. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't think we can kill him. Let's find out. Come on, please die. Nope. So, we're losing Ruel, which is fine because I don't use it that much anyway. Um... Oh, actually, she didn't die. I that's that's unbelievable. Um, yeah, I can't, that's there. You go. Uh, health stacking <laughs> uh, did something. Um, yeah, I think in general I'm gonna put her on the on, on a defense ring or something. Uh, and this is actually not going. This is not gonna go very well because of. Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Um, yeah, I guess we just got kind of lucky there. Um, somehow we ended up uh, everybody alive. But yeah, yeah, again, sorry, I, I keep getting... Uh, oh, that's a 19k uh, HP... Um, what's his name there? Um, but what I was saying was I think uh, defense... You, wanna, you want a defense ring? You want like 18k HP with like a defense ring? Um... For one, because that way if they do end up doing more damage, it'll be easier, like the lower health you have, the easier just to proc your water's origin. I really hate fighting against CCs on defense, they're just so annoying. Like they, they, really, they rarely do anything, but they're very annoying to deal with. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, so he got the right target there. That's good. Uh, let's see him crit. Oh, he didn't actually crit water. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a really bad sign in your game where it's like, like I said, where it's cool that you like didn't get crit on uh, elemental disadvantage. Um, I'm not sure how that works because it, it never seems to work properly to me anyway. So we're gonna get AoE, so I really need to be careful. And for some reason, she the, the one person that didn't get stripped there was the. Um... Okay, so we're gonna get AoE. We gotta be careful. Okay. Okay, that's this is gonna hurt. Oh, he's dead, dude. <sighs> yeah. It's an irritant. Uh, of course, we're blinded. Um, we could resist her strip, but not his uh, S1. Because blind always lands for some reason. Okay, so let's heal you up, and then I'll have to, um... I can lap, hopefully, yep. Yep, so I needed that. Yeah, I think this is over. It's kind of interesting how strong some of these lower teams are, are these days. Um, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Maybe I'm just falling behind, I don't know. You guys, uh, you guys can tell me about, you guys can tell me, uh, which it is, but, um, yeah, I do find it, uh, very strange. Because a lot of these people are doing way too much damage for the, the bracket of Guild War we're in. I'm gonna give her the Mind's Eye here, which is pretty irritating. Oh, no, I didn't, okay, very cool. Oh, and then she crit the, uh, her, which is fine. Uh, she's probably gonna die though. Yeah, she died. Uh, yeah, I do find, like I said, I do find it irritating, not irritating so much uh, as I find it interesting. Uh, what's going on here where we're being paired up with these people? But like I said, I mean, the rest of my guild seems to be doing fine, so maybe it's just me. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm bringing the wrong teams into these situations. Um, yeah, who knows? You guys can uh, let me know in the comments section there. 
Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, because these people are like, what's the ranking again? We're like 250 something. And some of these stats are really ridiculous. Like that, like, like I mentioned, that Charles was hidden way too hard. Um, well, I guess there's nothing else to knock over. Let's kind of help someone and, and put someone closer to the edge here, like that guy over there. Okay, we'll get you ready for someone else to knock you over. Um, let's get, uh, where are you, G Perg? AoE, AoE, AoE. Where's G Perg? Let's get you there. Well, what if I, yeah, what if I do that, right? Let's let's take a look here. What if I just like ox slots? Come on, there you are. What if I just ox slots a little bit into him, and then see about killing him later? I don't know. This is a bad idea, but I already, I'm already like, like I lost one, or I lost a couple already. Um, so there's really no point in like pretending I'm gonna try to like. I don't know, do anything really. Um, or maybe I should save Oxlots for down here because this team looks pretty irritating, honestly. Uh, let's try. Let's see, let's see what do I want to do here. Uh, yeah, I might have to like. I might just have to like crowd tank this top one. Oh, I can't anymore. Oops. And SSB's gone too. Okay, so that's out of the question. Um, the bottom one looks like it's going to be a huge pain. Uh, let's just put some good units down there and then uh, put some units up here. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens. Uh, problematically, I think that Arbiter, if he's on defense with, um, with Fat Cat here, um, he's probably got. I'm actually gonna sober it into this because I'm actually kind of scared he might be like on a counter set or something stupid. Oh, actually, that was way too much then. Um, but the thing was, the thing, the, the thing that made that kind of interesting was um, the idea that um, if you run him with, if you run the Arbor Villager with the Fat Cat, you're probably running the uh, Moonlight Dream Blade on top, um, which you know, of course, puts him up to 35, and then she gets 20% uh, a 20% evasion check. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but with the speed tuning, where like, he his S2 is up, but like, what am I gonna do with it, right? Like, I can't, I can't boost her up because it's like she's next. I guess I just do this and try to like. So if I crit the Ken, I'm gonna die, and of course I crit the Ken, and well, he slept. Okay, so that's good. Let's uh, let's just start hitting this Ken for. Uh, of course, she didn't crit now that he's asleep, so you know. Whatever that's about. Uh, let's get this going. Actually, probably should in the S1 just for the turn cycling. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like it. Uh, so yeah, now I can do this. Okay. He should be dead at some point here. All my cooldowns are taking forever for some reason. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so there, we did it. <laughs> this team, mm, kind of suspicious. I think uh, what lost them was the fact, like, if he had a better unit, see what I mean? Like, what the, what am I supposed to do here? Like, this is so infuriating. I don't know what, uh, yeah, I don't, whatever. Have I hit him yet? I don't know. Yeah, so I have to hit him first. 
So in that situation, I probably should have boosted uh, anyone other than Lilibet. Okay, so there we go. So he took his turn, and now Lilibet can do her thing. Let's just kill him. Yeah, so that was like lost on the fact that like Fat Cat is there for some reason. Like the the can the ML can and the Arbiter were fine, um, but the yeah the Fat Cat I don't know what was up what was up with that. Does she still not have like a Japanese voice actor? I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Let's watch her get countered by uh, by a Charles. See what I mean? Look at look at this Charles. Let's let's see what he does in a crit. Twenty six. That's like nothing. My Ruel with better stats than that, like, was like a third hit by that last Charles. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, let's hit him, and of course we can get the crit. But who needs crits? Because we got the stun. Uh, let's just get the heal off of this. I feel like I should have S two'd first. Nah, that's yeah. It's probably better to have it here. Um, I think she might die here. I don't know. Oh, no, I shouldn't die. Pretty cool. So th that leaves me room to just S two her um, instead of having to burn the S three so early. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, actually, no. I'm, I am gonna have to burn the S three early because of this. Yep. Okay, come on, S2, please kill her. Oh, she's dead, yeah, cool. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, next, I get to, let's be, I really should be trying to be, I really should be safe and, and do this first. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be safe and do this and then let Charles do his S3. Um, yeah, okay, so he's gonna, oh no, actually, no, he's not, Never mind. okay. Okay, very good. I was gonna say I'll just let Charles S three, um, but actually it doesn't really matter because he's gonna S three and I'm gonna have invulnerability, so you know it's fine. Yeah, so she'll be invulnerable. Oh yeah, of course I forgot she did that. It's pretty irritating. I wonder. Actually, I don't know. Uh, does does Tenebra does S ten Ace passive transfer like between uh, like lives? Of course, dude. This is like the one thing I like. I, I, I'll never stand for is the fact that like dual attacks happen in this game nothing you can stop them like you, they're just gonna happen it's it's beyond infuriating um, like especially when you're like for those of you who you know obviously have you know I think all of us have been fighting against uh, Ruel's or not Ruel's um, Ruana's on in arena like you, you just get all of the dual attacks for days for some reason it's it's just not something I'm okay with. It's really irritating. Okay, so that's that. Um, so there we go. Um, about 50-50. A little bit of uh, decent um, gameplay on my part, and a little bit of bitching here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, looks like we're winning. Uh, looks like we will win. Uh, hopefully. Everyone else did pretty decent. Um, as always, I gotta figure out what to do with, about this defense. Uh, the second one lost, and the first one did good. Hmm. I wonder if I put him down here, uh, like this, this, and this. Maybe. No, I need I need him for the reduction. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what's going on here. Uh, this team won, so I mean, this team, the first team seems to be consistently winning, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, won. Uh, I guess that's fine for now, but this bottom team, gotta get it sorted out, figure out what to do, uh, figure out what to do about it. Um, 
Maybe I'll, maybe I, well, you know, yeah, maybe I might put like, uh, what's her name? A Momo down here or something like that. That might change it up a little. Um, but it's kind of hard to like go with a Momo over your Ruel. It's like, oh man, I have a Ruel and I'm choosing a Momo. Uh, but yeah. Uh, videos over the weekend. I have a few video ideas, um, though mainly I think for Fire Emblem. Um, so I don't know if I'll be making anything for this, but you know, but it is what it is. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, good luck out there on your Guild Wars and um, try not to get scrubbed out. <laughs> try not to get too salty as always.